This week, we take a close look on the outcomes by President Yoon suk yeols state visit to the U.S. And tonight, it's about economy. The impact of the technological alliance between South Korea and the U.S. formed during the, uh, during the president's stay in Washington is expected to spread across many different sectors. Our Moon e r y o n has more. One of the key outcomes of President Yoon's official visit to Washington last week was the technological alliance established between South Korea and the United States, particularly in terms of its economic impacts. President Yoon expressed his thoughts on the alliance in a cabinet meeting on Tuesday. The business roundtables and events held during President Yoon's day resulted in 50 MOU partnerships and a total of 5.9 billion U.S. dollars worth of investment in South Korea. Six tech firms in clean hydrogen and chips announced a $1.9 billion investment to build factories in the country. And multinational materials tech company Corning Incorporated will be investing $1.5 billion over the next five years. With Korean firms such as Samsung SDI and LG Energy Solution to build electric vehicle battery plants in the U.S. too, it's expected that this technological alliance will help tackle the supply chain crisis as well as creating more job opportunities. In addition to the series of investments, the bilateral summit also led to the formation of a special exchange initiative for students majoring in STEM subjects in South Korea and the U.S., those being science, technology, engineering and mathematics. The two countries will invest a total of $60 million to support international exchanges to foster talent. This is in line with the agreement to establish a dialogue between the U.S. National Security Council and the Korea Office of National Security to promote joint research and development and expert exchange in the chips, batteries, biotechnology and quantum science fields. Another outcome is the extension of the Mutual Defense Treaty to cyberspace and outer space. a bilateral defense agreement that establishes the commitment of the U.S. and South Korea to provide mutual defense support in case of an attack from a third party. The strategic cybersecurity cooperation framework enables the sharing of information and technology, as well as cooperation in strategy and policies to prevent cyber crimes. As for the Space Alliance, South Korea's Minister of Science and ICT and the Deputy Administrator of NASA signed a pact to strengthen joint research and development in areas of space telecommunications and lunar exploration. Moon Hye-ryeon, Arirang News.